Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 3 to the power of x, this is equal to x. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's provide the solution from here. We have 3 to the power of x, this is equal to x. To solve for x here, we introduced the natural log, that is on both sides, we'll have ln of 3 to the power of x. This is equal to ln of x. So that now, the next step from here is that ln of 3 to the power of x, this is in the form of ln of a to the power of b, which we can express as b ln of a. Applying this property, then we have ln of 3 to the power of x as x ln of 3. This is equal to ln of x. So let's divide both sides by x from here. So that now we have here, we can write this as ln of x over x. This is equal to ln of 3. Now, from here, we can write this as ln of x, this is times 1 over x, this is equal to ln of 3. Now, we can express x from here, we can express x in terms of the exponent, given that exponent e to the power of ln of a, this is the same thing as a. So we can express x in terms of this exponent property so that now we have x is equal to exponent e to the power of ln of x. Substituting this, then this implies that here we have ln of x divided by exponent e to the power of ln of x. This is equal to ln of 3. Now, the next step from here, we have, this is the same thing as ln of x times 1 over exponent e to the power of ln of x. This is equal to ln of 3. Now, 1 over exponent e to the power of, to the power of ln of x, this is in the form of 1 over e to the power of a which can be expressed as exponent e to the power of minus a. Now, let's apply this property from here, so that we have ln of x multiplied by exponent e to the power of minus ln of x. This is equal to ln of 3. Now, from here, we have that a multiplied by exponent e to the power of a, this is the same thing as a. Introducing the rampant double function, that is rampant double function of a multiplied by exponent e to the power of a, this is the same thing as a. So from here, we have here natural log of x, but here we have minus ln of x. So we have to multiply by minus on both sides so that now, now multiplying both sides by negative here, then we have minus ln of x multiplied by exponent e to the power of minus ln of x. This is equal to minus ln of 3. So we multiply minus on both sides. So from here, we have that this part, we can call this a and also this part you can call this as a so this part is the same as this part and this means that you can introduce the lampant w function that is the w function of minus ln of x multiplied by e that is exponent e to the power of minus ln of x this is equal to the lampant w function of minus ln of 3
So on this side, on the left hand side, we have minus ln of x. This is equal to the w function of minus ln of 3. And from here, we can divide both signs by minus. So that now, here we have ln of x. This is equal to minus the w function here. Into the parentheses, we have minus ln of 3. The next step is that we have ln of x. This is equal to, now, we can express this, that is minus, w function of minus ln of 3 as the ln of e raised to the power of minus w function of minus ln of 3. And from here, and from here, you find that we can express x as x is equal to exponent e raised to the power of minus w minus ln of 3. And given that, and given that exponent e to the power of minus e, this can be expressed as 1 over exponent e to the power of a. So applying this property, then we have that x is equal to 1 over exponent e to the power of the w function of minus ln of 3. And this is the value of x for this algebra problem. So can you follow the steps? Like this video. If you have alternative formulas, you can showcase in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.